Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Ultimate Alchemy. And uh, today, in case you hadn't already noticed, I've got a little festive hat going on here. It's kind of silly. But um, yeah, it's today's episode is brought to you by somebody special. Uh, in fact, if you notice behind me, the pathway is open. And this is brought to you by Shadow, who is also the same person who opened the portal. Congratulations and thank you for your support of the Mischief. So, um, I hope to get some kind of image of Shadow at least near there so you guys can see him. Maybe I'll use him for the thumbnail if I can get it up in time. Who knows? Uh, check it out. But uh, hey, uh, anyway, I've, I've got some stuff going on. There was a little bit of some slowdown. Um, a lot of the stuff that uh, is used to build a lot of this to make the grass uh, kind of took its time. I mean, obviously there's like the sticks and whatnot, but over here I've got Water of Life constantly being used compost being made and used which then of course goes all sorts of places and i've i've got some grass or yeah so nine blocks <laughs> i do have a lot of dirt though uh, this recently just filled up uh, and the server's been on for a while so yeah and i don't have many yeah the the grass blocks keep disappearing every time that i unlock that but i shut this off so it would stop making the compost for now i i would like to have some oak leaves just for use sake and I planted a little sapling over there for now I figure maybe if I if I can get that to grow before the end of the episode I might make like a really small festive tree out of it perhaps I don't know we'll see but uh, for now I definitely want to expand a bit and I think uh, dirt is going to be the main building ingredient I've got a few stacks with me now I'll probably do something over there and uh, I also need to get going with some other small basic things like paper I need to have that set up. Uh, resonator, turning, uh, making black quartz. I've already got netherrack going. I had a little bit of a backup with the uh, <laughs> the lava. I I don't I didn't have this set up right. It's just going to constantly input things in here and back this up. Eventually, the input inventory is going to overflow with obsidian or charcoal, and not leave any space for the buckets to be input. So I do need to fix that at some point, but it's not a big priority. I mean, just emptying that out kind of cleared it and the water is not being made fast enough uh or at least it's not being piped fast enough it's probably being made fast enough so i might have to add a second water supply over here with like an aqueous accumulator because if you look right here this thing keeps running out and even if i go over there and just like use my uh acceleration one on it, it it's still not going to be enough it just ends up you know being temporary solution and i'm not going to be using any any of the users on that stuff so I've got my work cut out for me today. Um, I kind of figured I would start with a little bit of a platform over here, um, as this is going to be a dirt area. At least that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to try and make it a little bit bigger, I guess. I mean, I've got these little stretching platforms and, and whatnot, but I, I was thinking I didn't really have too much in mind with it. As usual, I tend to start with some kind of square or rectangular shape, and then I just kind of go from there, expanding out somewhat organically or how I feel it might fit the build best. So I'll see what I can come up with. There we go. At least it looks even now, um, even if I don't have torch in the middle. There we go. <laughs> this will give me a, a starting spot. And in fact, uh, what I'm going to do is probably take this one off. I'm dropping all this dirt everywhere and drop down a piece of grass. Uh, so let's grab one piece of grass, drop it in the middle, and put a torch on top of it. And hopefully that'll spread a bit and give me a, a bit lusher of a landscape to work with, uh, I, I guess. And then I can always um, like carve out the edges with some kind of chiseled dirt. I don't know if you guys are aware, but yes, you can chisel dirt into multiple things. I don't think you can chisel grass. Yeah, there's no chiseling options for grass that I'm aware of, but anyway, uh, there's at least another working space to uh, progress from, and I will need several items. Um, oh, let's try eliminating some of these signs. I have way too many. I, I took out the old one over there, even though it said uh, Batania and stuff, and I, I realize I need to, uh, a centrifuge and petals and stuff to go on, but let's do the wood pulp and paper to start with. So a wood pulp is made with simply just logs in a carpenter with water. So this is going to need power source, going to need water, going to need wood. 
None of those are really that difficult to do, but as you know before, I was having trouble getting some of the water piped around my base, and somebody suggested I should just go for an aqueous accumulator. It should be able to keep up, and at the very least, um, I'll have some water over here, and I can use it in another spot, maybe over here, over there. Oh, looks like the grass is already spreading pretty good. Um, so I figure maybe we try getting one of those up because I have a bunch of um, water to work with already. So I can just place that on either side and then it should be good. Because as far as I know, there is no, um, I, sh I should probably test this. Yeah, I should probably test this. Uh, there is no um, issue with uh, three of those uh, water becoming infinite in this world. Uh, at least not that I'm aware of. Let's fly and run over here. And can I can I get some of this? I forgot. This is Tinkers. I would have to pour it out into a a bin. You know, I'm just going to go with the fact that people suggested it and it seems to work, so I'm not going to complain about it. Either way, I've got enough water that I can work with it. So an aqueous accumulator bucket. Hey, I just got one of those. Some glass. Uh, shouldn't be too bad. Oh, wait. Where did my glass go? Ah, that's right. Got some over here. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, iron gears, which thankfully the recipes for that have been changed. So one, two, three. There we go. And I can just make those really easy. Just do it like this. There we go. What else do we need? We need redstone servo. That's not a problem. So far, everything is iron and redstone. I haven't looked to see what the machine frame is made up of. Or the device frame, rather. It's made from tin, copper gear, and glass. Copper gear. I think I've got some copper. I do. So, one, two, three, four. I'm going to need some glass. One, two, three, four. And what else was there? It was tin ingots. Which I should have some of those, too. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I think I've got everything for that now. So I should be able to make one of these relatively easily. Uh, I don't want to make any of those. Wait, uh, copper copper gears require a stone gear? Really? Uh, that's a bit surprising. Good thing I've got plenty of them. I just realized that I've got a bunch on me because I knew that I would need them. All right, there we go. One copper gear, and then I should be able to make this, and then I should be able to make that aqueous accumulator get. So now I just need some kind of building block around it. Which currently, I, all I've got on me is dirt, and I'd really rather not use the dirt as much. Let me put a bunch of that back. There we go. And instead, I should probably just use some... Oh, you know, I could use glass. That way I can see the water, find out if there's any issues, and I should be all right. Um, I can also chisel the glass so that if I need to break it, I don't lose it. Uh, but let's see. Where should I put it? I'm kind of thinking... I've got a lot of stuff going on over here. I'd like to be able to connect back and forth if needs be. So let's actually have the water down this side. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to need the aqueous accumulator somewhere in the middle. So then let's put that there. And it only needs to have uh, two sides facing it, but I'd like to have three in this case, just because it's going to be able to uh, keep water supplied uh, that much better uh, when it's got more sides submerged. So let's do that there there. And I'll make this glass look a little bit nicer as well, because right now this it looks pretty pretty crap, uh, to be honest. <laughs> and I am already going to need to uh, insert water over there, because <laughs> I just did this a little bit of an oops. There we go. So let me get... Uh, looks like I'm going to need a little bit of bricks. Okay, now that I've got the bricks, I can make... Casting table, and actually, uh, three of those should do. I, I should be able to even use this out here uh, if I want to. I don't think I want to. I think I want to put it over on maybe this side. Oh, yeah, back here is perfect. So I put this here, and then I can put the faucet, which I haven't made yet. So let's make that. Oops, there we go. Faucet on here. And then I can put a bucket, which I did not actually make a second one of. I only made the one. Let's make two buckets. Because this way I can carry two buckets of water and I can make an infinite water source or something like that. Um, but either way, I always find multiple buckets to be a good thing. So let's put this here. 
pour water in it, and it should fill the bucket. Yeah, it does take a little bit of time, though. All right, I've got a second bucket, and now I can start plugging this up with... Where is it? There it is, the aqueous accumulator, which goes here. And then put water on either side. Clear those out and put glass in front of either side. There we go. And that should be more than effective for what it is. Let's actually dig this spot up right here so that I know which spot it's actually at and I can pipe in from. There we go. All right. Put that dirt back. And now I have an input, or an output rather, for uh, the aqueous accumulator, which is constantly going to be making uh, wood for us. So, or not wood, water. But I do feel that that can be improved upon. So let's make it bubble glass. Oh, let's make it just gray border grass. Glass. And then... There we go. That looks a little bit more cleaned up, professional looking. Less chunky, less streaky, I guess. So I've got less streaky glass now. <laughs> All right. So that's actually, wait, that was only one part to leading to wood pulp and paper. So I do need to make another carpenter, which thankfully I've got sturdy casing. That's just some wood, a little bit more glass, crafting table, and an axe. All right. One, two, three. One, two. Got this under control. Crafting table. And the rest. Carpenter. Done. Now we need a power source. Of course. Guess what that implies. Survivalist generators. Yay! And of course I'm going to need some kind of fuel source for that. And people were also telling me that if I hold either sneak or control, there was a little bit of confusion on that. Some of the com comments were actually uh, a bit um, confused, uh, I guess you could say as to what it needed to be. Now, I am actually going to put this nearby, but I'm not going to actually have it cover the aqueous accumulator. Oh, no, wait, that might be a good idea. Because I can always pipe underneath it to other ones. That's true. I didn't think about that or even out that way. So I could put it right on top. That would work. Um, so let's, let's do that. I'm going to take a bit of transfer pipe. Oh, no, I could just take a liquid translocator here. That would be best. I think that would be best. And then we could do... I don't know why it did that. Take this and stand in the water. And then if I can actually get this on my hotbar, I can place this on top, drop down here, and put the other one on top of that. There we go. Insert. And the water is flowing as it should. Excellent. So that... That worked pretty good. Now, this is just going to be one part, though. This is just going to be making paper for me. Um, so I do need to have wood flowing into it, but at the same time, I can have this wood powering a couple other machines. Uh, it's just a matter of how it goes. So how best to organize this? All right, survival generators I can have on either side and here being fed in. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take your guys' advice, and let's see if I hold control in place oh it looks backwards okay excellent so it is control actually you know what let's try that is what what if i do sneak nope okay so it's not sneak it is control uh at least in this control scheme so let's do control and place it and that works for this so that will allow it to fill into this which thankfully that's all it needs really because it'll have its own output. Um, and then I can put down survival generators here and here. And then I could just have these being inserted in with item translocators. No problem. There we go. And that should get it the power it needs. And then we just need to look up the recipe for pulp. Or wood pulp in this case. Yeah, that's very simple. There we go. Done. Yep, and we're getting wood pulp. Yay! And then off of that, we can actually have flat transfer node going off of this one. Now, if I put it on that side, that was pulling from this into that. So I want it to actually, there we go, push into, not a basic drawer set like that. I want a single drawer set. There we go. And this should 
come over here. But I, actually, what do I even need wood pulp for? Camouflage, paper. So it should just be fed into another machine. Also being fed water. Yeah, I, I feel like I've made a slight error here. <laughs> I can make this work, though. I'm going to need another another carpenter, it would appear. Wait, use for this. Yeah, it, it's formed in a carpenter like this. Okay, so I can have... Mm, looks like I'm going to lose some of this water here. That's all right. It, it's still going to be more than enough for what we have going on. So I'm probably going to use... Or at least I was planning on using a liquid transfer node, but in this case, it does not appear to be the case. So I could have it being fed down. That might be a smarter thing in this case. Because then I could take advantage of another liquid translocator and put that on the other side. That's not a bad plan. Let's try that. So I just need to make another carpenter. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, and of course, I will need more... Ugh, survival generators, which is just going to be a thing. And I'm starting to think that maybe maybe this one being here isn't actually needed after all. But still, let's put these guys down here. There and there, and that'll be the power source for the carpenter that I have. Which I can put here. And then have that piped out, maybe? Here, I guess? I guess that's a thing. Um, so I could take this off. Okay, things I'm going to need going to be to kind of lower myself down here, grab my liquid translocator, put it on that side as well. I broke this top one by accident, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but anyway, we've got water coming up and into there, into there. Yeah, that's it. That's that's doing pretty good. Even considering that these are not going to use it that fast, that's more than efficient uh, at this point. So let's just put this back in place for now. And I do need to have wood being fed in, but I figure at this point I could probably just go with one mm, here, I guess. And I could do a couple of flat transfer nodes. So control here, 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 here. And then I drop down... One there. Is that working? Difficult to tell. Um, <laughs> I could take the wood out of this one, put it in this one, and then I could try the same over there. But first, I need another wood barrel for fuel. And then, yep. Yep, that's working. Cool. And then I just need a bit of wood to go into this. Yeah, I realize I'm starting to get a little bit messy at this point. Uh, I also will need item translocators or, or transfer nodes. Oh, I could just do a translocator. I don't see a problem with this just feeding in there. It's all just one item. So let's do input that. And look at that. We've got paper being made. Oh, so good. Now I do need to have some kind of wood source being fed into this as well, and I could use item transfer nodes and stuff, but at this point I think I'm just, I, I actually am going to stick with, oh, that's not what I wanted. Control, oh, that's so much easier now. Thank you for telling me that, folks. Uh, but let's put the item barrel in front, and then that gives it the wood that it needs as well. So now we have infinite paper being made here, which still needs to be brought out somewhere. Not sure exactly where I want it to come out. Should I have it come up into a, a drawer here? I think that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put that there. And just for the sake of this, we're going to do item transfer nodes. Because we don't need to have paper stuck in there. Let's do this. Put the paper away. And then lock it. Done. Go back down. And there we go. There we go. Paper coming out. And it is resolved once again. Here we go. Uh, not too compact, not too efficient, but it is pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's no pipes involved at least. It's just a bunch of transfer nodes all butted up next to each other. And that is paper done and wood pulp. I did not expect it to take two of the uh, 
those carpenters though that was unexpected resonator user with black uh, resonator user and black quartz now i do have some users already i made a bunch of those resonator though let's see that resonator that's not too bad that just takes a bunch of coal wait is that coal or oh it can be charcoal redstone and some two of those and what was it was it it's five iron and done we now have a resonator now of course we need the quartz which is made from redstone being turned into that with a resonator which requires 4gp which yeah we're gonna need oh what is it uh redstone not the gear but it's it's gonna be used in the making of it there it is the manual mill that's not too bad that's for redstone yeah okay let me get the materials for that and i'll be back there we go i've got my polished stone so i should now be able to make a manual mill excellent so i have this over here now why i'm putting it over here i don't know it's just the next thing that i have lined up so if i put this here and i put a manual mill on top and then i have a mechanical user on there and then I just rotate it a bit. Let's try that again. There we go. Ah. Uh, if I have this generic, place, use item on block. Activate block with item. Use item. Oh no. Is it not going to do it? Oh, it's not going to do it. Yeah, once I've got things up and running, I could make like a lava mill, water mill, etc. Actually, I. Yeah, I could make a water mill. That'll take a little bit of time with this stone burnt, though. Ugh. But I could have this being pumped out. Uh, what is in here? Oh, that's the picks being used on that. Oh, I could have it being pumped out from the hopper in the back, maybe? Yeah, because it's making redstone out of this hopper. So I could feasibly pull out of that. That'd be a little bit tricky, but I think I can make that work. So let's have this here. And I'm going to use item translocators. I'm, I'm cheating right now. I feel like I am. This isn't really cheating, but in. So that should eventually get, yep, a piece of redstone in there. And then I can put down manual mill on top. And then I just right click and I drink some tea. And what convenient timing. As I started this, somebody came knocking at the door, I made a delivery. So I've got a bit of crushed black quartz. Cool. So it does work. It's just a matter of I, I don't I don't want to stand here doing this all the time. <laughs> There's going to be other ways that we can make this work. So centrifuge. Isn't that bad at all, actually? Uh, I feel like I've already made one of these, but may, maybe. Maybe not. Um, let me go get some pistons. Are there pistons down? Where are the pistons? Um, there we go. So if I grab a couple of those, should be good. Hey! Hey! That's a good sized tree as well. Let's grab a couple of these. Do this. Make some shears. And this ought to get me a bit of quick and easy <laughs> oak leaves. So don't need to worry about this because that's that's just not that's not keeping up. But I can at least do this and get a little bit of leaves this way. All right, there we go. Uh, cleared out. I've got a bunch of leaves here, and I put some in the uh, inventory over there as well. Just thought I'd do something. I don't know, a little bit somewhat festive for the area. I mean, considering that it is, I think that this is going to be released on Christmas Day as it is. So. Might as well at least make myself a little bit of a festive creation here. Aha. Uh -huh. I had things close, but not quite. I'm going to use some of my gold stores for this. Not that I have a lot to choose from, but I think that it's for a worthy cause in this case. So let's let's chisel this, get rid of this city and blah. And let's go for a black of block of gold in kind of a star shape. There we go. Now we just need a little bit of some lights being all festive on there. Put a bunch around the bottom. There we go. We've got ourselves a little 
Well, kind of decorated Christmas tree. And no, it's not going to go up in flames because it's a, it's an artificial tree. <laughs> something like that. But hey, there you go. A little bit of uh, festivities. Just a little tiny something there. Cool. I, I, I thought that was, that was nice. Anyway, <laughs> let's, let's get back on track here. I was currently trying to make a centrifuge, which I believe it's what, three, five, six pieces of wood to make uh, stair blocks. Yeah, there we go. All right, centrifuge. Still needs some glass, sturdy casing. Oh, am I out of glass again? Jeez. There we go. Try it again, and I think, there we go. Centrifuge, which I'm going to guess it'll probably need power, but I don't think it needs anything else no, besides an ingredient, of course, but I don't think it needs uh, water in this case. So I could have this over here, just plonk it down. Uh, actually, I could put that next to those. Ooh, ooh, let's, I, I, ju I just got some, this weird thought all of a sudden. I could potentially put this on top, put a couple of uh, generators on either side of that, and then, uh, and then work with that. There we go. And I've got a couple of these transfer nodes I could work with as well. So I could probably put this here and here. And then put this on top. And it would help if I actually put these transfer nodes facing the right direction. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, no, that, that doesn't work. Okay, yep. Not sure if I can place through blocks like that, like in between them. That would be interesting to know. Can I? There we go. And then if I put this on top. No, it. No, it's feeding. Okay, survival so generator, and this is getting power. It's just missing resources, which in this case, we just need a little bit of grass blocks. Uh, I don't have many, but I don't think I really need many. I only need like one, actually. So I'm going to put two in there. Not enough power yet. Yeah, we're working on that. Why are these not lit up? That's really weird. It requires RF energy. They've got power coming in. Grid power. They require grid power at this point. Okay. So that means that I am going to need to uh, get this stuff going. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so you spam too many of those and you need grid power all right well let's look at mills and then call that good uh, i think a water mill is probably going to be the most efficient stone burnt needs polished stone all right that's simple enough put a bunch of these in here take out that and then i just stand here and let this do its job one more of these should do and in fact let's put a bunch of resources away I then should be able to make this like so. So I will need water, surprisingly. Yay! All right, but I should have access to getting some water. Yeah. Oh, it's so easy now. Okay, so with this, I can then... Maybe I can place it... No, placing it out here would be a bit awkward. Oh, no, wait, I can, I can expand this. That's not a big deal. There's nothing wrong with expanding this area. Uh, let's do a bit over here. So if I put down the mill, I'm going to want water flowing on the corners. Here, I put a block there and a block there. Yep, that's not bad. Uh, I can make that work. So let me get a little bit more dirt. Okay, and then I can just place a few more along this side. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And this torch is actually going to need to come out one, I think. Yep. Because it's going to be in the way where it's at. So if I put water here, it's going to want to flow in, in all sorts of different directions. Uh, I am going to want to use some glass, I think. Just because it's going to look prettier uh, by the time I'm done. <laughs> I will chisel it as well. So we're going to put a bit here. And then we're going to put a bit here. And then I just need to have that. Cool. And that should get me 16 grid power right there. Yep. There we go. And it is now making me all sorts of goodies, which I probably should have done this a while ago instead of messing around with the manual mill. 
I mean, it is manual, but there we go. Done. Stone burnt is being made for future projects, and that is fine. I don't think I'll need a ton of them, but they, they are a really nice decorative block as well. Let's just grab a bit of glass and see about making this look a little bit nicer. We're going to go with the gray border again, because that's what I have going on at the moment below. I could always change this up. And I can even add a little bit of glass on the outside so that they get the uh, connected textures benefit and look even nicer than before. There we go. And I think this actually kills grass. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Either way, it is fine where it's at at the moment. And uh, it's kind of back out of the way. I still have a big open area. Oh, centrifuge. Oh no, it only gives me one per? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I thought it gave me like all of them in one process. Crap, so I'm going to need more grass being fed in so I can get all the different colors. That's kind of a bummer, but it looks like I got a couple from that one. And then as long as you have one, a pair of shears and a place to plant it, you can get more if you have a way of getting fertilizer. I wonder if compost works. Hmm, I've got a bunch over here. We'll grab a little bit of compost. Um, we'll see if it works like bone meal. If so, then this, this can work. I can use this temporarily to get where I need to go. So I can put one down. Uh, put that down. Compost does not get applied like that. But I can use this to make bone meal by combining it with be beet? Peat. <laughs> Which I think is probably going to be our next... Our next process that we're going to be chasing after. Uh, I can't put that in there. And I just pulled that out of there. That's that's fantastic. Um, in fact, I've got a spot for this. This should work. Uh, we'll put down a few of these. What is that? 16 each, so 16 different colors. We'll start with that. I'll grab these ones. And, and just go from there, and we'll see, hopefully, what we get. I mean, I'm going to need a lot more grass blocks. And I don't mean these kinds, because uh, getting silk touch is not exactly going to be an easy thing either. But hey, we've got to start at this point. I think getting peat going is going to be something we'll need next. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video on uh, Ultimate Alchemy. Yeah, really, really good. Um, so guys enjoyed be sure to give a like comment subscribe and as always be sure to spread the mischief to everybody else happy holidays